All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the basic Delta V mod, which is being made by form user DMagic. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a set of different information panels that you'll have available to you in the Space Plane Hangar or the Vehicle Assembly Building, which will give you information such as the Delta V thrust to weight ratio and so much more for each individual stage of your craft. And oh, I cannot tell you how much I love this mod as it is such a powerful tool to know all of that information on a per stage basis as it really does help you plan out your missions a lot more easily. So let's jump right on into the vehicle assembly building and take a look at how all this works. Now let's build ourselves a small little spacecraft that, well, <laughs> will never make it into space, but all we need it for is, well, a fuel tank and an engine so that we have the various stats like thrust to weight, etc. that would be useful. Now, of course, we now have our lovely stage down here and in the vanilla game we do have our nice little engineering report which is useful but it doesn't have exactly a whole lot of information and of course there are other mods out there like the Kerbal engineering redux which will give you a lot more information about your ship and individual stages but a lot of people out there myself included tend to find it a bit confusing and a bit cluttered and that's really where basic Delta V comes in. It's meant to be a more streamlined, simplistic information panel. So how we get it started is our lovely new button down here, which will bring up basic Delta V. And we're going to start in the settings here as well. We need to turn it on. Now, of course, by default, when you install this mod, this display active is already going to be turned on. But of course, I turned it off so I can turn it on for you guys to show you. Keep an eye down here the information panel that shows up right next to our stage and gives us all that different information, which is very, very useful. Now we have down here showing our thrust to weight ratio, our delta V, our specific impulse, burn time, thrust, and mass. Now we'll talk about each of these individually here momentarily, but first let's continue on the settings. Now, of course, as you can see, it's somewhat transparent, just like these staging icons are, and we can adjust that here if we so desire having it either more or less transparent. Now, I like the 50%. I think it's a good middle ground between the two. But where I really love to change things is the scale section. Oh, I love this. First off, staging. Kind of a small little thing. What if we made it bigger? Well, we can. There we go. We can put it all the way up to 150% of its default size or down to 50% if you have tremendously good eyesight or a really big monitor. Now let's actually put it up to 150% so we can more easily see it for this YouTube video because oh, even at 100% that's probably going to be a little bit difficult for you guys to see on your computer screen. And then we also have a toolbar scale which is specifically for this basic Delta V menu. And again we can make it to 50% or 100 or 200 actually percent. I like it at about 130 and this one doesn't change dynamically. You have to actually hit set. And there we go. That should be more than enough size for our video purpose today, which is quite nice. Now, of course, back to the information panel real quick. This is showing right now six different stats, all very useful, and it's showing it currently just for this stage. Now, if we did go and add another stage, so let's do that real quick and actually add a bigger fuel tank for it so that the different stats will show and a uh, different engine as well. There we go, beautiful. And now you can see that we have two different information panels. As again, these are displaying per stage. So this is showing all the pertinent information for this stage, and this is showing all the pertinent information for this particular stage, and giving you a whole lot of good bits and bobs to help you plan your trips. Now, if you don't want all six of these things showing, you can adjust that, and that's in the readout modules. We can turn on or off whatever you so desire, and to either have all of them on or just one or two 
whatever specifics you do like. You can just go in here and adjust it to whatever you please, which is very nice to have, especially if you're only wanting to care about certain stats for certain missions, which is always good. Now, what's even more important is these next two. We can actually adjust the atmospheric conditions and the planetary body to test against because things such as the thrust to weight ratio, specific impulse, etc. will change depending on gravity and atmosphere. And so these are important tools to have. So say for instance, you have this top stage as a lander and you want to know what its stats are gonna be on Duna. Well, there we go. We have now changed it to Duna, and these specific impulse, delta V, etc., have changed. Uh, and of course, the thrust to weight ratio, as with different gravities, well, technically the weight's going to be a bit different. And it's all good. So you can change these, which is very fun. You can even change it for the altitude conditions, which is very cool. You can see the chain things changing in the background. And we're actually going to have to add a third stage here because the Mach one there only calculates for jet engines because of course it takes into uh, account the air intake uh, for the different calculations so there we go and if we adjust the mock you'll notice that the burn time as well as the specific impulse which is a little bit hard to see so let's actually drop the delta v thrust weight ratio i, I want to just see the burn time Okay, you know what? Let's scroll down here and just have the burn time and ISP showing, as these are the two ones I care about right now. So there you go. These should be adjusting for this stage down here. And oh, it's just the burn time, in fact, for that one. I thought the ISP would have changed as well, but no, I'm incorrect. But we are getting different burn times, because of course, higher air intakes will affect that. Very good, so let's turn all of these back on. And so yes, you can adjust these to your various atmospheric conditions and planetary conditions. And say, for instance, if we do hit the moon, you'll notice that the atmospheric section disappears, because of course, uh, the moon doesn't have atmosphere, so why would it even give you the option? And I do really love this tool because not only is it useful for like landers, but I love using mods that let you build stuff off world. And if I'm going to launch a whole rocket from another planet, I can now actually test how it's going to fare on, say, launching from EVE, which is very, very fun and a very powerful tool to have. Now, actually, I'm going to reset these so it shows a bit better there. There we go. And uh, let's turn this off to now talk more about the specific individual things here. So, of course, let's start with uh, the thrust to weight ratio. Now, you'll notice that we have two different numbers in here, and the one number is the thrust weight ratio at the beginning and then the other is at the end of the stage's burn time so it's going to adjust depending on how much fuel you lose because the amount of fuel you know changes the weight of your ship now the next is the delta v and that is displaying on there the current stage's delta v right here and the entire vessel's at delta V right here. Now this is calculating the delta V if you use basically every stage in succession. That is the max amount of delta V that this whole entire ship can produce. Now of course this one here is how much this stage and the bottom stage can produce because of course it's not going to calculate the top stage as it hasn't gotten to it yet. So that is why you have these two numbers being different and at the bottom it is the exact same number because of course it's the first stage, so it only cares about its stage and its stage. But yes, it's quite cool. So we do have the two numbers of current stage and entire vessel up to that point. So that's very, very good. Now, the next is, of course, the specific impulse, which will be corrected for with uh, atmospheric flight when applied, which is always good. The burn time, of course, the just burn time of the engine, and that one will change with the at least the jet engine, depending on air intake. Our thrust is the thrust of that individual stage and that individual stage alone. And then finally is the mass, where we again have two different numbers, and the first First is the mass of the current stage, and then the other is the mass of that entire ship 
after the other stages have released. So you'll notice that at the very bottom, it's the biggest number because of course all stages are attached and at the top, the right hand number is the smallest because after that stage, that's all that's left. And in the middle, it's counting basically that minus this bottom stage here. So that's very good to know. So you have those different mass values. And again, you can plan accordingly to whatever you need. But remember, left hand side is the current stage. Right hand side is the current stage minus the rest of the ship. <laughs> Basically the reverse of the Delta V. The Delta V is the stage and then it plus the rest of the ship stages. So it's basically the, the reverse of that, which is very good. Uh, again, just allowing you more information about the ship. And of course, again, uh, information about the ship that you can customize and turn on and off specifics to your heart's content, just so you can show whatever it is that you specifically want to show. And yeah, that's basically it for the basic Delta V mod. And this is a great little tool. And of course it is updated for version 1.3 of Kerbal Space Program as I have uh, updated to the current version now. So you aren't gonna have to wait for this mod to update before using it. You can just throw it right into your new game. And I would definitely say to go and give it a try as it is a powerful tool. Now again, yes, there are things like the Kerbal Engineering Redux, which will give you, oh boy, a whole heck of a lot more info. But I prefer this one because it's just, it's so much more streamlined. And I love the, just how it is showing by the individual stage. I love how you can adjust it. It's just a much more simplistic, streamlined engineering mod, basically to give you as much information as you really need and care to have for a specific mission. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Again, if you'd like to download it, check out the link in the description. Certainly go check it out though, it's fun. And I do hope that you have enjoyed this episode today and that you do come back for the next when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching my friends and as always, have a good one.